Good morning, guys. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 9. Good morning. It's a beautiful Saturday. Um, I didn't set an alarm this morning. And I still woke up at 5.30. But, um... I forced myself, I was like, I'm going back to sleep. I look like a crazy person. I told myself, I was like, I'm gonna go back to sleep. And now it's 8 a.m. <laughs> Today, I'm supposed to do a long run on Saturdays. And um, I was planning on doing 10 miles today, but because of my cycle, and I feel swollen today, like my hands, feel swollen my face, my lips, my feet, my legs. Um, I'm feeling a little shakeout run. <laughs> um, so I'm gauging four miles, five miles today. I don't even think I've spoken about these on Vlogmas. These are the Better Days Caffeinated Greens and they are literally the best greens that I've ever had. I swapped coffee for greens months ago maybe six months ago at this point for the better days caffeinated green specifically in the flavor peach limeade so good and i legit this past week have gotten texts from multiple people that did the black friday sale for better days greens they got one pack and every single text said oh my god shannon these don't taste like greens wow they're smooth because I don't do, I do not do the stuff that's like healthy and it tastes like health. Are you kidding me? But this is just like a nice, you know, a nice little something something in the morning. It also has digestive enzymes because, listen, I have trouble going to the bathroom and I can feel it if I don't have these. I can feel it. The thing that I put in these, you guys haven't even really like, you guys have been seeing this in Vlogmas, but I haven't talked about it. These are the Bowie Hydration Drops. And this is essentially just like hydration minerals. You can't taste them. I just do like one little squirt and I got this one off of Amazon and the owner, I found the owner on TikTok and that's why I ordered this. And they just explain the difference between this and a liquid IV. And I still really like liquid IV. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like it gets the job done better after a run, but every single morning I do these and I feel the difference and I don't feel like I need to drink as much water throughout the day, if that makes sense. I'm not sat here drinking, you know, five or six Stanley Cups, I've cut down to three. Today's gonna be a good day. I got the girls coming over tonight. Some of my girls coming over tonight. I have literally put off leaving for almost an hour now because I literally, I just do not want to do this. The thing is though, and I keep telling myself, there is a possibility that my race day could be on my time of the month so I think I've convinced myself I know I said already that I'm gonna do four to five miles I think that realistically I'm only gonna aim for two like even a 5k just feels like it's gonna be too much so I'm literally gonna do two see how I feel even just give myself 10 minutes like let's just go for 10 minutes see how I feel and if I can keep going, then I'll keep going. But if my body is yelling at me after 10 minutes, like stop, let's walk, then we'll do that. But no matter what, I'm gonna get out, I'm gonna discipline myself, then I'm gonna get out and we're just gonna go. This Lululemon running vest, by the way, I like it, but I got it before they got the regular running vest. So I have these little adjustable straps that literally open up every single time I'm running to like the widest whatever, instead of keeping it like super tight. 
So I literally got this the week before Lululemon released their other one, which is very annoying because I like how like tight this is to start, but then to finish it's at like its loosest whatever. And then I have all of these little, which is really annoying, but I like being able to put so much stuff in this. And for me, the reason why I like a vest instead of a belt is because most of my weight already is at the top half of my body as a bigger chest and girly. So I like having everything up top because that's what my body is used to having my weight at. So if anybody's gonna attempt running, you do not need the Lululemon vest by any means, but I wear this every single time that I run, no matter if I'm doing a short one or a long one, it doesn't matter, I'm wearing this. You good? So we're gonna get out and about. I think I'm gonna uh, hit up Walmart too on the way home so I could just get like all the Christmassy stuff while I'm out and about. And then we can come here and then we're gonna clean. Oh, that was, that was just like bad. Not ideal. And the whole time I was running, I was like, okay, I'm gonna give myself 10 minutes because 10 minutes is what my body needs to decide that I am not being chased by a bear and I'm running for fun. So I gave myself 10 minutes. And then after the 10 minutes, I was like, I'm not gonna last, I'm not gonna last. I can feel that I have like congestion and then my throat is a little like, ah, this feels like allergies. So I need to go and take a Zyrtec. That's what I need to do. But I was supposed to run 10 miles today and I could literally, I could only get to two because that was just, ew, ew, ew. That was so, oh my God. But again, I get people asking me all the time like, how do you find the motivation to run? How do you find the motivation to run? And I don't. My literal only motivation is how I felt when I did my first 10K and I was so incredibly embarrassed at myself at how I chose to be unprepared. Like literally it was an active decision for me to be unprepared at that 10K. So that's why I trained for the last half marathon. And that is why I literally was like this morning, I put off my run for an hour. I was like, I'm gonna give myself 10 minutes. After that 10 minutes, I was like, girl, the rest of this run, we're gonna do two miles. And the next mile and a quarter is mental toughness for mental toughness alone. And now we're gonna head to Walmart for Grabbing a few things for the girls this evening. Oh, get this thing off. Get it off. Get it off. Oh my God. Am I dumb or am I stupid? <laughs> oh my God, am I? Ah! Jesus Christ. I can't do this. Ah! I'm going crazy today. I'm going literally psycho today. Someone put me in a bunker. Someone. Okay, guys, I have to tell you what just happened. I took Ryder out for his little afternoon WALK and he literally has never had this happen before, but he had the zoomies around me at one point. Like he was just, nyong, nyong, nyong. like he had too much energy <laughs> on that, that it just, it made me laugh. Um, and I'm finally at a time where I'm gonna put up a few decorations. Do I have to put up decorations? No, I don't. But I like being a little extra. Um, again, all of these are from Walmart. I have this cute little ho 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 balloon banner. This is, it's really not that serious. This was only like $3. And then these two were only $2, They're little Christmas trees. So what I think I'm gonna do 
is I'm gonna do the ho, 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 just right here. A little ho, ho, ho. Um, because we're gonna be coloring on my kitchen island. I got a Christmas coloring tablecloth and I hope it arrives on time because literally I ordered it. I sure did. I ordered it and it was supposed to be here this morning. It's still not here at 4.30 p.m. Girls, me here. Um, so the Christmas tablecloth never made it. It's in Amazon purgatory and was never delivered. So pretend the tablecloth never happened. I'm very proud of myself that I cleaned quite a bit this week and just like tidied up. It wasn't even really like cleaning. I just tidied up a little bit that it made me feel a lot better getting ready for tonight because it wasn't like a, oh my God. So it looks like the H's are red and the O's are green. Ho, ho, ho. Why is the O a C? Is there a reason for that? I don't know. Let's see. It came with like a little straw that I guess we're just gonna pierce. Wait, what does that say? Wait, what does this say? Failed. Okay, <gasps> we're getting somewhere. Okay. That's easy. that they gave me. Alexa, stop. I don't think the string they gave me was long enough. This is why you should not call me for your party planning. How does this? Okay, so there are three Christmas trees per, wait, am I supposed to do it like this? Is that kind of cute? I love the gaudy Christmas decor. Like, I love tacky Christmas. And I don't know if I've ever been able to like verbalize that, but like a lot of the stuff this year specifically that I've been drawn to has been the tackiest of decorations, the tackiest of decor, and I love it. And I think that's why this year I played around with putting tinsel on my tree, was just so that it could be like a, ha ha, this is so fun. Does this look stupid? Honestly, at this point with Christmas decor, it doesn't matter if it looks stupid. It just matters if there is holiday cheer, that's the motto, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. I did not vlog at all tonight just because like it was so nice just like you know sitting and talking and getting lost in conversation and just you know hanging out with good people um 
and honestly Ryder was on his best behavior too like I'm really 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 proud of him um we had dinner tonight from Four Rivers I think I said that earlier in the vlog we had dinner from Four Rivers and it was very good um I don't think I showed you guys the napkins that I got from Walmart how cute are those and then the plates girls get into it um but I know that um I you know I'm I'm tired it's midnight we were sitting and talking about books <laughs> yeah and I'm just like I'm fully convincing my friends to reread Akatar with me and um just you know they're like I don't know like where you are in the book like so much stuff happens and um I don't know it's just been really cool connecting with people on like so many different things on like the shows that we're seeing and like the books that we're reading and just I don't know it just like I don't know it sparks so much joy in me um but yeah I'm gonna go to bed now I'm very tired I posted two vlogs today my god I posted two today um but we're gonna continue on with vlogmas I solidified a lot of plans today for the next week um lots of stuff going on this week which is very exciting because we're gearing up for the holidays we're gearing up for Christmas um and also I just wanted to say to anybody celebrating Hanukkah happy Hanukkah I don't I realized that I didn't say it in the last two vlogs happy Hanukkah wishing you peace and blessing and prosperity this season and um just a really great really great season for you guys and even though I don't celebrate Hanukkah I do deeply deeply um respect it and respect just like the reverence of it all um and yeah so thank you so much for joining me today and I really hope that you guys have a great rest of your night or day whenever you're watching this and I'll see you guys tomorrow bye